All Things Healing Podcast and video. Listen, I could not wait to tell y'all about this. Um, I had to I had to process everything before I actually shared what I experienced it. What I experienced. Um, the title of this is I Changed My Mind. <laughs> I changed my mind. I want you to know that it's okay to change your mind. It is okay to change your mind. It's okay to change your mind. I've been in school pursuing my master's in mental health clinic in, in clin- clinical mental health counseling. And I it was I am like 62% complete. I can literally see the finish line. And I realized that I don't want to do that. <laughs> I do not want to do it. I just don't. And I prayed about it and I, I got the answer that I needed and I made a decision. I didn't have to talk to anybody. I didn't have to get anybody's opinion. I told my inner circle what I was doing. Nobody said, here's the thing when you talk to safe people. They don't try to change your mind. They're like, okay, okay, girl, do that. Whatever whatever it is you want to do, they support it. Whether you want to quit or keep going, they support it regardless. So I um, contacted my advisor. I talk with her as I'm talking to her. You know, because when you start talking to people, they start giving you all these things. Well, you can do this and you can do that. Trying, trying to make you, trying, trying to convince you to continue to do the thing that you don't want to do. Just like this, why I don't talk to I don't talk to a lot of people. When I when I went to her, my mind was made up. My decision was clear, very clear. I was done with that. And I'm gonna tell you, I started feeling things um, as I'm going through these practicums and having to do these counseling back to back and watch other people do counseling. It was so draining. I was like, I don't like what I'm feeling. So you mean I'm gonna be feeling this all the time? If I if if I if I go on with this and I become a counselor I'm going to be just getting all this stuff all day long like this is going to be my job (laughs) I was like no I don't want that I'm not willing to do that I'm not willing to make that I'm not willing to sacrifice my this is my opinion I'm not willing to sacrifice my mental health for that I'm just not I can do something different and I chose psychology so I'm changing my major to psychology um it's um it's a process. There's some things I'm going to have to take. I'm going to see if I can file an appeal so I can, um, so my credits I've already completed can transfer, right? So there's some things that I have to do on the back end. Nevertheless, I'm clear with my decision and I feel really good about it. I no longer feel that anxiety when it comes to, I got to do this and I got to do that. And it's just so draining. Imagine imagine being drained, feeling drained 24-7. Who want to sign up for that? Not me. So for my mental health, I chose not, not to pursue that. And I was clear in that decision. Have you ever made a decision and you're pursuing that thing and you told everybody, you've been telling everybody about it, and then and then along the way, you just you just kind of like fell out of love with it? It's like, yeah, I don't want that no more. And I, I don't know how to tell people I don't want that no more. I'm afraid of what they would say. Or I'm af- I don't want I don't want to be a quitter. Or whatever 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 that voice is that comes up in your head. Um, those are my voices I'm sharing with you that came in my head about it. And I realized that it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to change your mind. And that's okay. You don't have to stay loyal to a bad decision. You made a decision. And, and at the time, it sound it may at the at the time when you made that decision, it may have seemed like the best thing for you. You've changed since then. So much has changed. You're going to continue. To, you're going to continue to change. You're going to you're going to continue to evolve and elevate, right? And things are going to change. You're going to change, and it's okay if you change your mind. So never stay loyal to a bad decision. It's okay to change your mind. That's what I wanted to share. And I'm just, I have so much, I had so much clarity and I felt so much better after I talked to my um, advisor. So much better because the old me would have just dropped out, would have just quit. Wouldn't ask no questions, would have just assumed that since I'm not pursuing this, then I guess I got to quit. 
I am so glad I'm not that person anymore. I'm so glad I'm the person that asks for what I need. I'm so glad I'm the person that knows how to have those uncomfortable conversations. I'm so glad I'm the person that does not mind reaching out for help. Okay? A lot of times we sit and struggle and suffer because we don't want to ask for help. And I'm going to tell you what I noticed was my awareness is had I gotten a, um, a mentor sooner, I would have made, I would have came to this realization sooner. So that's something that I looked at, you know, what went well, what, what didn't go well. What didn't go so well was I did not get a mentor. I should have got a mentor. That way I could ask those questions. Because basically the questions that were being answered were somebody else's questions that I didn't even know I had. I didn't even know how to articulate these questions. So as I'm listening to everybody, Anthony's asking these questions about internship and all this stuff, I'm like, in my mind, Sunday, my mind was made up. I'm like, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I don't want to do that. I'm not willing to make that sacrifice. I'm just not. I don't want that. I knew that. Just by other people asking their questions. That's when I got real clear. You know, when you pray, you expect the answer to be right away. Sometimes it doesn't happen that way. Nevertheless, I was sitting there and I and I just got so much confirmation. <laughs> My body felt peace. My body felt calm. I didn't have that anxiety about the things I had my had the anxiety about before I made that decision. Afterwards, I was like, I feel good about this. I feel at peace about the decision that I made, but the choice that I made. It's okay to change. It's okay to change your mind. I changed my mind, honey. It's okay to change your mind. And then check this out. So my coach drops this module about um, what's emotional health got to do with it. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, this stuff just be, it just it literally falls into my lap like that. And I'm just so confident and, and secure in the decision that I made. Listen, this module that she just dropped, and then we had a call last night, and I was just sitting there like, my God, I should have said something. I'll be in them rooms quiet, y'all. I should have said something. You know what? This is right on time because I made a decision about my emotion. I, I made a decision based on my emotional health because you're, it is important to take care of your emotional health emotional healthy women and she was telling us about this book that I'm going to be purchasing emotional healthy women by um, Jerry Cesario I'm gonna be getting that book because this right here your 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 health is your wealth and the title of the module was what's emotional health got to do with it a whole lot and so here are some things. I'm going to give you these eight tips, these eight eight things to quit doing in order to work towards emotional health. And I took an emotional health quiz. I'm good. My my results, and I'm going to get this to my I'm going to get this to my inner circle. So my quiz, the results of my quiz, y'all. You demonstrate strong emotional health and resilience. If I had not had emotional health, <laughs> I would still be struggling, full of anxiety, full of all kind of stuff, trying to complete this thing that I no longer feel aligned with, okay? So I'm going to give you the eight things to quit in order to work towards your emotional health. Quit being afraid of what others think. Quit lying. Quit dying to the wrong things. Quit denying your feelings. Quit blaming. Quit over-functioning. Quit faulty thinking. Quit living someone else's life eight things. Quit being afraid of what others think. Quit lying. Quit dying to the wrong things. Quit denying your feelings. Quit blaming. Quit over-functioning. Um, quit, oh, quit faulty thinking and quit living someone else's life. And then um, I'm going to wrap it up. Doing for others, when it comes to quit functioning, doing for others what they should be doing for themselves. Quit stinking thinking, taking everything personally. So just wanted to give a little context for those two. Um, I changed my mind. I changed my mind. And it's okay if you change yours. Okay? I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I hope y'all have an amazing day. Mm-hmm.